Hi everyone. This video is in regards to week two and the information that you will need to complete the assignments. And I thought the easiest way to get this information to you was to go ahead and to send it out in an announcement. Okay, in the announcement section, look for the, the, the heading week two information update. And in the first line, this is the activities that we're going to be doing. So if you go ahead and click on that link, it should bring you up a document that looks like this. Okay, if you scroll down, this talks about the topic and then the focus of essential questions. And we're still looking at teaching with understanding and breaking that cycle of people thinking they're not good at math and what do good mathematicians do. So these are all the objectives. And then this is the heart of the um, things that we'll be doing in the week. There's this portion for Monday's night. And then there's this portion for Thursday night. So we're going to be doing some presenting and also uh, some discussion, which, man, it couldn't have gotten much better than what you did on Monday. It was, it was a very good discussion. So I want to continue on and explain it in further detail. These are the assessments that you're going to be doing. There's three reflections, a presentation, and a professional writing. And this just to explain kind of where I, I'm at right now, there's been a technical problem with the course. And as of this recording, I do not have some of the material, or excuse me, access to some of the documents that we'll need. So um, we'll go at step by step and we'll get through this. So the first one is, the first task is to pick up from your site a Ziploc bag with, which has the different colored beads and string, and you'll need this by Thursday. And they'll be sending us the directions next week. So I put in the comment section, please let me know if you have any trouble getting these materials, and I will help you get a hold, get a hold of someone, or we'll get through it so you get the materials. Okay, that we're going to be going through on class some student work. So this portion, the in-class documents folder with the counting student work, in the coursework that I have, I do not have access to this document. And I've been in contact with the course lead to get a copy of this document. So what you need to do is just print that for month, for um, excuse me, for Thursday evening. So this needs to be printed for Thursday evening. And if you notice, there's 10 pieces of work and print on only one side because we're going to be doing some sorting. So please remember, all you need to do with this document is to print it. Okay. The third one is Knowing Mathematics for Teaching. That document is not at my access either. So I will forward that information to you as soon as possible. And these are the comments that I've posted as well. Um, the professional writing has not been assigned because there has not been a professional writings folder in Canvas. So as soon as that information is presented, I will forward that to you as well. So the good news <laughs> is the, these assignments, the video reflections, the number talks on the kindergarten rec and recs, the using open-ended questions to encourage all, and the best practices math effective task link have all been uploaded to Canvas. So let me go back to the Canvas here. And I will click on assignments. Or excuse me, I, let me click on the syllabus. I think that'd be the easiest way. And you scroll down and it should have those reflections right there. Right? Okay, so then we will go back down here. Okay, this other one, the fluency without fear, and the um, number sense presentation document has not been given to me either. So just to let you know, if there's any sort of hiccup or anything like that, We'll make we will do some altering to these assignments 
Um, I want to make sure that everyone has enough time to complete the assignments and to feel like they're not rushed. So trust me, we will work through this together. And once you receive that information, that's just like you did on Monday, you're going to present a presentation of two to four slides over this particular subject matter. Okay. And then the rest is pretty basic. The oops, excuse me, chapter two. And then the Thursdays is our Zoom conference. We're going to do in class two work and we're going to look at chapters two and three. All right. Now we had some other questions come up in regards to um, your field experience work. Okay, and I will forward these information to you. I couldn't get these to upload into the Canvas. So I took a portion uh, out of the, um, the whole, there's a whole booklet included in the course of what you need to do to fulfill these requirements. And I'll make another tutorial in regards to that. Um, this is the requirements to the course. And it says this experience includes com completion of 10 hours of observation and teaching. So that's both. You count your observation time and your teaching time and your, your preparation and your reflection in an elementary mathematics classroom. So what you need to do is a student must prepare and present one lesson and engage in appropriate reflection of the experience. So I know some of you are wondering if you could do that in other topics of, of what an elementary teacher is doing. So what I asked you to do this, I have to go by what this says. And if, if you don't think that is correct, I under, understand your difference of opinion. That's not a problem. Um, what I'd like you to do is contact your site coordinator and then they will direct you to the person you need to discuss this matter with. And then the last thing is the placement. So these are the people that should have placed you. And if you do not have your placement, I would contact your local site as well to see if they can assist you with the placement. So please don't think that I don't want to help everybody. And I am, once again, I apologize for not having these documents for you. Um, this is a little bit that's out of my control, but we'll get through this together and we're going to learn all kinds of great stuff. So please feel free to contact me with your concerns. And over the weekend, if you could send me a text message, that would be great. Thanks a bunch. And I look forward to having office hours on Monday and then to discussing um, having class on Thursday. Thank you very much.